So the first thing you're going to do is open up uh, SketchUp. And our goal is on page four, we have all these drawings. And you're going to recreate them in SketchUp to help you do page four. We're going to start with this first one, which is this um, like U-shaped block. Um, what happened here? <sighs> Cancel. I don't know why I did that. Um, hopefully it's still recording. <laughs> um, yes, it is. Good. Um, so what you're going to be doing is you're going to draw this shape in SketchUp. So you got to start with which view you want to draw in SketchUp first. I always like to pick the view that shows the most information. So out of the front, top, and side views, which of the three views shows the most information of this block, which gives you the best idea of what the block looks like? Actually, the top, maybe not so much. The side is just a block, so definitely not the side. That leaves one more, the front view. The front view shows as mu as most of the information because it shows that it's a U-shape, and the front shows U-shape. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to draw this U-shape um, in SketchUp. So as I open up SketchUp, um, I'm going to first kill the lady by, and then I'm going to open up um, a t my toolbar, my views toolbar, view toolbar, views the little houses. I'll dock my toolbar over here. And since I decided to start with the front view, I'm going to make sure I select the front view up here. Here's the front view. So now I've selected the front view. And now I'm going to redraw the image. So I'm going to ask for people to help me in terms of what, what size to make everything. So I'm going to start in the corner here and draw this block. And maybe people can count the blocks and let me know so I don't have to flip back and forth. So I'm going to use my pencil tool, begin at the very corner of the or of the axes, the origin, click once, and then I'm going to move my line in the direction I want to go along the red axis, and then how far along the red axis to the right do I want to go? How many blocks? Six blocks. So I'm going to do six feet. You can do six inches as well, but I type six feet. Um, and then I'm going to go up along the blue. How much? How much do I'm going up? Four. Good. So I'm going to type in four feet. And then I'm going to go in a little bit by how many blocks? Is it two? Why? I think it's just one. I'm going one foot. And then go down how much? That's two. Good. And then from there I'm going to go across along the red another how much? Can someone count and tell me? Four? Thank you. Go four feet that way. And then I'm going to go up. And if you don't remember, you can always use your shift lock and lock to make it the same height as that. And then inference lock to there. And then close it off. And there I have my front surface. But I want it to be a 3D block. So what do I have to do? I have to push pull. So how much do I push pull? Well, I go back to here. and the front view will not show me how much do I have, I have to push pull. It doesn't show me the depth of the object. Which of the views show me the depth of the object? The side and, and the top actually both show me how much I have to push pull. What's the depth of the object? So in this case, how, how deep am I going? What do I have to push pull? Five, five units, five feet. So I'm going to go back to my SketchUp and I'm going to grab my push pull, click once on the surface, move in the direction I want to go, and type in five feet. Um, and there I have it. I have my block. Now our next steps are going to be to create scenes showing the different views. So I'm going to go to Window, Scenes, and I'm going to click on the plus to make, f uh, sorry, it should be four scenes. I'm going to go up to scene one. I'm going to call scene one ISO. I'm going to call scene two. That's going to be the front view. And then I'm going to go and scene three will be the top view. And then I'm going to go and click on scene four will be the side view. So now I have all my three views. So I'm going to exit out of the scenes for a second. If I go to ISO front and top and side, nothing changes, right? 
because I haven't updated my scenes yet. So I'm going to click on ISO. And then how do I get it? This looks like a 3D view, but is it an exact ISO? To get the exact ISO, I'm going to go up to my little houses here. Um, toolbar. This is the views toolbar. I'm going to click on the ISO button. And now to save this view, what do I do? Yeah, right click on the scene tab and click update. Now it's saved. Let's go to front and do the same thing. If I click on front, that's not the true front view. Let's click on the front view tab. Now, does this look exactly like what's drawn on your packet? No, it looks a little different. What's wrong with this? Why is this not looking exactly? I clicked on the front view button. Yeah, it has perspective on. It has all these lines, edges going to a vanishing point in the back. So to turn off perspective, I'm going to go camera, turn off perspective, and now it looks right. It should look exactly what's on the front view of your packet. So I'm going to click update, and I'm going to check. Is that what it looks like? Yep, it looks like a U. Go back and click on top. So for the top, I'm going to do the same thing. Click on the top tab, or top button in the views toolbar, and then go to camera, turn off perspective, update the tab, the scene tab. Um, hold on, it's thinking right now. Um, once in a while, SketchUp will stop and pause to do this. It's doing an auto save, most likely. I'm going to go update, and then I'm going to go to the side view, and click on which one do I click is it the right side or the left side well if I look at the views packet is this side view to the right or the left of the front view it's to the right so this is the right side view so I'm gonna make sure I select the one that says right there you go again turn off perspective for each of these and update so now I should have my ISO, front and top and side view should be exactly what I want. Um, and it, they should match exactly to what's in the views packet. Um, now, how do I get the hidden lines?